Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and want to do a DIY organizing project. I got an easy one for you today. I wanted a garment rack that could hold all my accessories, my shoes, handbags, just things to remind me that, girl, you need to wear it before you buy anything else. I thought of a cheap solution, turning an inexpensive bookcase into my own little closet. Dressing room, garment rack, I don't know what to call it. Definitely comment that down below. There are a few tools that you will need you might need someone a little handy but I definitely did it myself so if I could do it you can do it I picked up most of the items from Target some really cheap bookcases they were $30 each and a few items from a hardware store like Lowe's I have everything linked down below the only thing I forgot to film throughout the video was where I got the puck lights. They are battery operated. I got a bunch of these for the living room and I had some leftover so I decided to add them into the bookcase. It just makes it a little more fancy, I guess. If you guys like the tutorial, definitely thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much. So let's get started. On the side of the bookcases, they were plain boring. So to jazz it up, I decided to add crown molding and also additional storage for accessories just using this picture frame I got at the dollar store, take everything out and spray paint the front of the picture frame. I grabbed a total of 16 for two of my bookcases, eight per bookcase. Now you need to attach this to the side of your bookcase. You can use any method, glue, nails, whatever. I chose the command strips because it's temporary just in case I want to remove it later on. I cut these into small rectangular strips so that I can place them right onto the corners of my picture frame on the unfinished side. With these hooks, I attach them with hot glue using my hot glue gun. This guy has been with me forever. Dot them and space them out as even as you can. Just eyeball it out. Add a strip of hot glue on top so that it's secured and it won't fall off when you're hanging your accessories on it. Alright, to avoid your frames looking crooked onto the side of your bookcases, use a level and make sure the air bubble is in the middle telling you that your frames is straight parallel to your bookcase. Now, if you don't have a level, just use an app version on your iPhone or Android. I will try to link it down below. It works pretty well too. I also picked up these command strips hooks. They were just there with the command strips that I picked up for the frames. And I just saw diamonds and said, why not? So I attached them to the top of my bookcases to hang like my clothing, whatever on it. And then you have your accessories to store on your picture frames. Inside the back of these bookcases, I use gift wrapping paper. You can try fabric, painted, contact sheets. Remove the shelves. Measure the heights and width with a measuring tape of the inside of your bookcase backing. Unroll the material you're going to use onto a hard, flat surface. At the top of the gift wrapping paper, I measure out my heights in increments with my measuring tape. Now I take my straight edge ruler and connect the markings that I made with that measuring tape so that my lines are perfectly straight before I measure out my width. This is going to intersect the height so that you have a perpendicular lines. Now before you cut, just place something underneath your material with some magazines or a cutting mat. Take your X-Acto knife and your straight edge ruler and trim out your outline that you made just like me. You're almost there. Seriously, that is the tedious part out of everything by measuring out and cutting. Once you got that perfect, you're going to place some double sided tape onto the back of your bookcase. Then start from the top and smooth it downwards. It's an easy update to any bookcase. That's the reason why I use double sided tape just in case I want to change it up. Now to the closet. You're going to need these adjustable closet rods. I picked this one because my bookcase width was 23 inches. So I got one that measured up to 30 inches. You're also going to need a support mount, which is this guy. This is going to hold your closet rod up in order to hang all of your clothes. All right, so everything will be listed down below in the description box, so make sure to check that out. I also use my power tool, the drill. You can rent these at many of the hardware stores, so you don't have to buy everything. So definitely ask the staff at the hardware store if needed. 
Okay, with my power tool or a Phillips screwdriver, you're going to remove the end pieces for the closet mount support to fit on each end. Like this. Take your adjustable rod, place it inside of your bookcase. I use a hanger to help guide me to see how far I need to place my rod. Now take the closed end of the support mounts and mark the holes. We're going to drill the holes in in order to fasten the mount on. Take your time so you don't end up drilling through the bookcase because that'll be awful. Anyways, wear safety goggles when doing this so that the wood dust doesn't end up in your eyes. So definitely be careful. Now you can fasten the mount to the side on with those screwdrivers. I'm going to screw in the other side of the mount. I want to make sure this is like straight and not crooked. So I'm going to use a level and position it before I mark it with a pencil. Take the closet rod out and drill in those holes that I mark. And screw in my other mount that it's like a half circle I guess. Support mounts are fastened to each side of the bookcase and closet rod is in check. Now you can hang all of your clothes. This is really strong and will support a lot of your clothing. I made these sequence hangers which was inspired by many shops on Etsy. I have a lot of leftover sequence trimming. You can use a yard or so to make these and um, I just wrap it around with hot glue. Be careful with the glue because you will burn your fingers. So make sure to let it cool down for a few seconds before placing it onto the hanger like this. Once I'm done with that side, I just repeat the steps onto the other side. Wrap it around, add some hot glue in between to make sure it's attached. Add more at the end, then trim off the leftover. I like to add a little bit to the ends so I have enough to wrap around. Now I have a gold sequence hanger, a white one, and also added a bow. You can do any colors. And I also want to show you my fancy hamper. Just updating a side table that I had and wasn't really using it for decor. So I just added a dollar store mesh bag inside and yeah, that's my hamper. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below if you have a video idea you want me to do. And uh, Mochi and I will create it. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. And if you're a newbie, definitely subscribe.